What is a database? A database is just a collection of related information. For example, a shopping list, all your friends' phone numbers, a list of products, customers and orders in a shop, and so on. Databases can be stored in different ways. For example, a shopping list could be stored in your mind or on paper. A list of all your friends' phone numbers might be stored in an app on your phone. Data relating to a shop could be stored in a spreadsheet on a computer. If you're storing a database on a computer, you can use a piece of software that's specifically designed to do just that. This is known as a database management system, or DBMS. A DBMS is great at storing and managing large quantities of data, and it can retrieve this data very quickly. There are two main types of database management systems, relational and non-relational. Non-relational databases are sometimes called NoSQL databases. I'm only going to look at relational DBMSs in this video. Relational database management systems store their data in tables, which consist of rows and columns, just like a spreadsheet. Each table stores data about one particular type of object. So for example, customers, products, tasks, and so on. Each row of a database table is one item of data. For example, each row of a product table contains the data about one particular product. A table could contain hundreds or even thousands of rows. Each column of the table represents one attribute of each record. So a product might have a name, a size, a price, and so on. An individual database can contain several tables, and these tables can be related to each other. This is where the name relational database comes from. For example, in a database for a shop, you might have a customers table, a products table, and an orders table that links these together. By storing the data in this way, we can extract data from the database to see which customers have ordered which products, how many products have been ordered in total, and so on. A relational database management system consists of two parts, a server and a client. The server is where the databases are stored. A single DBMS server can contain several individual databases. The client program is the tool we use to interact with the server. We connect the client to the server and use the client to give the server instructions for creating or modifying databases, and for inserting, updating, and retrieving data. The database management system will execute these instructions and send the results back to the client. The instructions are written in a language called SQL, which stands for Structured Query Language. This is a standardized language for communicating with a relational database. There are many different relational database management systems, such as MySQL, Microsoft SQL Server, Postgres, and Oracle. Note that all of these support the standardized version of SQL to a greater or lesser extent. Most of the core SQL syntax will be the same in all of these systems. However, each DBMS has its own extensions to standard SQL.